An important part of every day here is about caring for our animals. Our dogs Bob and Annie are eager and ready to join me for the breakfast round. They are both rescue dogs and happy to have found a new peaceful home with us. I really enjoy those early morning chores. Everyone is happy to see me. Our foster pony Daisy stays with the donkeys overnight in the stable. All four girl sheep live together. Selma is the oldest. She must be at least 12 years old and is retired. In the mornings, she's troubled by arthritis in her knee. Whilst she and the other two have their breakfast outside, I milk Harriet. Then it is time for them to go out to the field for the day. Daisy joins the sheep for a while until she comes back in for her work with the children. She came to live here in spring because she became redundant in her old home where her young owner had outgrown her. Plenty of work for her here. The children who come for therapy sessions adore her. Our cob horses Henry, Winnie and Flora spend all night outside and come into the paddock for the daytime. To make the start of their work day more pleasant, they get treated to a small breakfast of oats. They are currently in a far away field and there are three of them. So I thought up a way to be able to lead all three of them back home safely at the same time without too much rushing and pushing each other. The girths I use for therapeutic bareback riding come in handy for this. I put them on two of the horses and tie the lead rope of the following horse onto a loop in each girth to form a line, with me leading the first horse. They seem happy enough to travel in convoy. And the dogs think they do a great job helping me. Flora is the youngest, Henry is her dad and Winnie, Flora's mum, is the boss in the family. There's a set hierarchy about who gets to eat from which bowl. Flora always gets to lick them clean at the end, though. The donkeys spend their day in the field, too, unless there's a job lined up for them, like giving a child a donkey ride or a cuddling session with a the family. They join the four boy sheep who live outside all the time. Frascati is a very friendly ram and looks after his three sons very well. In autumn, he will join the ewes for their annual honeymoon. Then back to the house with the milk. And the dogs and the rabbit get their breakfast.
Later in the morning, it is time to check on the guinea pigs who live under the house and come out to graze on the lawn. And of course, the geese and the duck and the hens and cockerels get their late breakfast. I leave the hens locked in for most of the morning so that they lay their eggs inside instead of somewhere in the hedge where I can't find them. Well done hens. You've done your job. Down one and then not so much. And then it's finally time to treat ourselves to a second breakfast. 